Did you know that for every inch that your head moves forward in posture, it adds up to 10 pounds of added pressure to your neck, your shoulders, and your upper back? So for the, hum for the average human who has a head weight of 10 to 12 pounds, if their head forward moves forward, three inches, that's an added 42 pounds of pressure in the upper back, which is equivalent to almost the weight of three watermelons. Hi, I'm Dr. Morgan, and in yesterday's video with Dr. Casey, we talked about how nerve interference can affect your body's ability to function and heal, and why it's so essential to maintain proper spinal and pelvic balance and alignment and have good posture. At the end of the video, we showed an exercise, the backward shoulder roll combined with deep breathing. And we had a few people doing it with us on the live video. And um, we had some people message saying, show us more so we can add to our routine. So here I am and I'm gonna bring you two exercises. One is a strengthening exercise that helps restore your posture. And one is a stretching exercise for your shoulder to help restore your posture. So we're gonna start with that. It's a stretch for your pectoralis muscle, which sits right here and attaches to your shoulder. So when it's tight, it results in your shoulder rolling, rolling forward. So if you have the computer for long periods of time, or you're on your cell phone, or you have poor posture and you're slouching forward, your pec muscles are going to contract and get tight. And sometimes people will come into my office and let's say, doc, I'm doing exercises and I just don't know how to get my shoulders back. I'm trying to be conscious of my posture, but we look at their shoulders and unless these pecs are focused on and we start to release the tension that's built up over many years through stretches, it's really difficult. So we're gonna start with this simple pec stretch to help open up your shoulders. So first, I'd like you to do this with me. So go ahead and stand up or sit up straight if you're unable to stand. However, the most effective way is to do it standing. And what you're going to do is either interlock your fingers behind your back, or you can grab onto your wrist, whatever's more comfortable for you, and you're gonna hold on to your hands behind your back. You're gonna lift your wrists off the small of your back up towards the ceiling. It's really important while you do this stretch, like every other stretch, to have deep breathing so that it allows your body to release the tension and the stress that's built up. So you'll breathe in and then out as you increase the stretch. We're gonna do this stretch together and we'll hold it for 30 seconds. When you do it, make sure your shoulders are rolled backwards and your chin stays high so that you're not doing the stretch while you're slouching forward with poor posture. So go ahead and stand up tall, either interlock your hands and go ahead and lift. Take a deep breath in and breathe all the way out, relaxing your shoulder blades back and down. Try to relax the front of your shoulders while you increase the stretch. So that's a simple stretch that you can add to the routine with the backward shoulder roll stretch we showed yesterday. The next one I want to show you is actually a strengthening exercise. I recommend it for a lot of my patients and it's actually going to strengthen the muscles on the front of your cervical spine or your neck. Often it's uh, best when done against a wall or a headrest. I personally choose to do it in my car when I can push against the headrest of my car. So it's called the chin tuck. And what you're going to do is tuck your, tuck your chin directly back. So a lot of the times people mistaken it by duck, chuck, tucking their chin downwards or lifting their chin up. Instead, bring your chin directly back so you're giving yourself a double chin. You're gonna hold it for one to two seconds and then release. And then you'll repeat this exercise 10 times. So if you're doing it against a wall, you'll push your head back against the wall, hold for one, two, or one to two seconds, and then relax. So we'll go ahead and do five of these together. So you're bringing it back for one to two seconds and then relax for one to two seconds. Making sure you're sitting or standing up tall. Two more. One more. And 
and you'll feel the muscles contract in your neck. So I hope that you find these helpful. We're gonna be back with Dr. Casey tomorrow. Have an awesome day.